I want to be a sanyasi stood up and declared in front of the entire wholeness class one day probably shocking everyone who knew me I too was surprised that I said it because I tend to have deep bonds with anybody or anything around me this quality of mine revealed itself in the wholeness there was one incident where sadguru brought a snake to the hall and asked us anybody want to take care of this snake he is dying if one of you can feed him for a few days he may live longer he had found the snake in the hole under the tree near the cactus garden it was 6 feet long and most of us were afraid to even go near him there was a short silence then i will do it i said without thinking for me it was like this if sadguru asked someone to do something and no one else seemed inclined then i want to do it no matter what it might be i had not even held a snake before in my life but sadguru handed him over to me and there i was holding a 6 feet cobra wrapped around my arm if he stops eating from your hand after 2 to 3 days leave him in the forest he instructed he was such a poor sleepy snake i kept him in the cloth bag hung it inside the class some of the wholeness participants got frightened and threatened to throw me out with the snake if i don't remove him from the hall sadguru was very entertained by their reaction and he scared them even more by saying he will come and sleep with you in the night we injected bird eggs in the snake's mouth and gave him small frogs and worms to eat the first two days he ate something but after the third day he started to spit out everything so reluctantly With a heavy heart we left him in the forest. One evening a few days later I was playing music from a tape recorder for a cultural program. I saw Sadguru and few others walking together and one of them was holding a snake in his hand. Why is he holding a snake? Something is wrong. My intuition told me. I left the tape recorder business and ran there to see what had happened. It was the same snake that I took care of. but he was dead now he was found dead at the same place where sadguru had found him before please give me the snake to hold i pleaded they wouldn't give him to me only after much insistence i was allowed to hold him i cried when i held him he felt so different from when he was alive we buried him near the same area where he was found i felt as if i had buried my own child and i couldn't move away from the place for a while so this is how i was A year earlier also during the Bhava Spandana I had stood up before Sadguru to declare something that time it was about my desire to get married and have a big house I had even described what kind of husband I want and every inch of the house I had envisioned so I was completely unexpected that within a year I had taken a 180 degree turn and seemed determined to walk the aesthetic path but the truth was that i was burning before i die i must get kavi cloth from him is what i frequently thought those days to my great annoyance many wholeness participants and even sadguru often tried to talk me out of brahmacharya however i was determined and sadguru yielded i was initiated among the first batch of isha brahmacharis in 1995 and given sanyasa with the first batch of isha sanyasis in 2003 after the sanyasa initiation when i received the kavi clothes from sadguru i trembled do i really deserve this unparalleled honor i thought as i took the sacred clothes from him from wholeness to sanyasa i feel this path has been about learning the real meaning of having a deep and indiscriminated relationship with life During wholeness I was always on a high many days I would sit near Sadguru's feet during the session and sometimes even hold his feet when I was not at his feet the intensity of the process we went through had me rolling kicking around and even climbing up the pole that supported the hut roof from inside in fact once the process was over and Sadguru left the hall I had a hard time getting down of the roof pole because by then I had to come back to my normal senses sometimes Sadguru surprised me with his metaphysical presence i am with you 24 hours he told us one day in the second month of the wholeness he'll go back to the house right how can he be with us 24 hours my mind questioned the very night as i was falling asleep i was woken up by a strong fragrance of vibhuti 
I wondered where it was coming from but went back to sleep again I was awakened by the same fragrance it happened 2 3 more times who has applied so much vibhuti that it's smelling like this i thought next i took a torch light and went around shining it on the sleeping people's face to find the source of the vibhuti fragrance but i could find nothing that could explain it puzzled i went back to sleep first thing in the next morning session i asked sadguru about the source of the vibhuti fragrance why are you asking me go and check with your torch he replied to my astonishment once it happened that i was co-teaching a class with a new teacher we were staying in the volunteers home which was in the same building as the class but one floor above one day i wanted the new teacher to be able to handle the class independently so i didn't go inside the class during his session and instead hung around in the balcony upstairs some music was being played on the street outside i caught on to a catchy song and was humming along After a while a few volunteer came up running and asked me to manage the situation in the class one of the lady participant because of the energy situation in the class was thrashing about wildly out of control so i had to go in after the class settled again the co teacher pleaded with me to continue the session instead seeing no choice i went and sat on the teacher's chair the music was still on my head and i was unconsciously humming it. When the participants were sharing their experience I noticed that I was tapping my feet to the tune after the class was over the lady shared that she could see Sadhguru sitting in the chair in place of me she said that he left when I sat down for the closing invocation such experience were not uncommon so I did not think much of it at the time when I got back to the ashram after a week as I entered the triangle block I happened to meet Sadhguru among other things He mentioned a certain date and pointedly asked which class were you taking on this date in the morning session I was taken aback that was the day I had been tapping my feet to the stupid tune when that lady had seen Sadhguru sitting in place of me this moment is inevitable I replied timidly so you be in the moment ma he said Soon the Chennai Gramotsavam was announced and we had invited hundreds of players in addition nearly thousands of villagers wanted to come on their own expenses but someone had to be in chennai to take care of the entire arrangements games etc since the rural people bonded with me a lot i asked sadguru if i can go gramotsavam will happen ma you stay here he said but when i insisted he said Okay go but do not ask me about your health later and he left the gramotsavam happened gloriously with 5 lakh people in attendance i thoroughly enjoyed the intensity of organizing such a mega event and taking care of the villagers however on my way back i felt so sick that i had to be hospitalized and was recommended to undergo an urgent surgery however Sadhguru refused the surgery and put me on certain diet and gave me some sadhana. I went back to the checkup after 40 days. I was fine, but I learned an important lesson. In 2006, I moved back to be in ashram full time and in later years to care of Akshaya and the local welfare activities. Now I take care of Isha farm where I do organic farming using zero budget and intercropping technique. that i learned in the project green hands workshop these techniques are amazing i use only cow dung and cow urine as bio inputs and from just 1 acre of land we sent 2.1 ton of radish 650 kg of coriander last month and will soon be harvesting tomatoes and ladies fingers too i am able to experience the pride of being a farmer first hand The real test of transformation was when I got the news about my mother's death. I was hurt yet felt distant from it and gracefully went on with my usual teaching schedule. It was then I realized how much had changed within me. 
I'm now a different person in so many ways. From a clinging, immature girl that I was, I now feel distant from my social situations. Yet I am as involved as I was 25 years ago. How to express my gratitude to Sadguru? Whenever I strayed from my path, he gave me time and support to get back. For me, my Sadguru is everything. How will I ever pay back my debt to him?